I'm Shannon. Depending on how good you are at I Spy, you may have noticed that I use a wheelchair. Whatever, no big deal. But it is However, almost assuredly a big deal a for a talented emerging comedian whose main claim to fame so far has largely been their own YouTube channel, totaling roughly 1,000 views per video to suddenly be thrust into the national spotlight on The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore, the premiere January 19th to nearly 1 million viewers. How much of a big deal? Shannon DeVito is about to find out. I spoke with Shannon the day before and a week after her national television debut on Comedy Central to discuss her hopes and fears about what might just be her big break. Hi there. Hi. The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore is an issue-based comedy program with a panel discussion. What's the hot button topic of this episode? So what they're going to be talking to me about is whether or not obesity is a disability. Ooh. An easy one, right out of the gate. What's your preparation been like? It was up until 2 a.m. last night just trying to come up with different questions that they could possibly ask and different jokes that I could say, hopefully come across intelligent and funny, which is always difficult. (laughs) What would you like to see come out of it? I hope that it shows a, a person with a disability in a different light than that's really been shown a lot. This is an opportunity for me to show that I can be funny and quirky and weird and and smart and not all those other stereotypes that people often assume. Appreciate you carving out a few minutes to speak with us during this amazing busy time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. Joining our panel tonight is comedian Shannon DeVito. Thanks for joining us. Now, Shannon, I have to ask you this. Uh, do you think, um, is it offensive when you hear people who are overweight? We, we talked about it being a disability. Mm-hmm. Are you offended when you hear that sort of thing, the, using that language? I'm not offended by using the language. Mm-hmm. I think what I'm offended by is people that take advantage. I would never use my disability as an excuse unless my friends were going to a restaurant I didn't want to go to and I couldn't get in. Then I, <laughs> then, you know, I, I can't go, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Shannon, kind of a similar question. If there was a pill that you could take, yeah. okay, <laughs> that would mean you could get out of your wheelchair for good, but it would mean that you would be irreversibly obese for the rest of your life, would you take it? No, I wouldn't, because I don't know where I'd get all my comedy from, because my parents love me. <laughs> You'd have a slew of fat jokes, though. Yeah, but mm-hmm. wheelchair jokes are more fun. <laughs> So, the show went well, you got laughs in all the right places. Still, the intersection of disability and obesity would seem to be a dangerous place, especially for a wheelchair-using comedian. How are you careful not to cross the line? I tried to walk that line. Like, I talked with with some disability advocates, I talked with yourself, I talked with some other people, just to make sure that I was saying the right things. But I also then tried to shoehorn my thoughts and and all of the information that I gathered into jokes. I I wanted to be informed, but I also wanted to be funny. And I think that was more of the line that I wanted to walk versus whether or not I was going to piss somebody off. In addition to your personal career, why is it significant for someone like yourself to appear on The Nightly Show as a commentator, going toe-to-toe, so to speak, using comedy? Because no one's doing it. And I, I think that Comedy is such a medium that can bring people together. And if you think something's funny and I think something's funny, it almost doesn't matter what our background is or who we are. It it matters that and in that moment, we both are getting so much joy out of one thing. And it breaks down so many walls. And it's such a great thing if you can laugh about something that's scary or something that's unknown, because it it makes it a little bit more human. And people often are are afraid of talking about disability or or afraid to approach that subject because it's scary or it's unnerving or, or whatever it may be. And if you can laugh about it, then maybe that dialogue can continue. And it it can open up so many different doors. For Tacoma Radio and from block to block on World Radio Day, this has been Lawrence Carter Long.